Welcome to episode this meeting 84 is being recorded. of Threads podcast with another prospect spotlight uh, right before the uh, live period with Christian Gerdak, now at Gonzaga High School. Christian, how's it going, man? It's going great. Thanks for having me on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking forward to this. So, been watching you since you were in eighth grade, but uh, tell me about your first in-game dunk. Uh, that was uh, early my seventh grade year, and it was um, – on my middle school team, it was a fast, I got a block and got a fast break and whole gym went crazy. I was, you know, super young. It's like 12 or something like that. So I was, I went crazy. I couldn't did believe you, it. Did you know you were about to do that? Hey, when I saw the fast break, I was like, you know, no other better time to try it than now. So how, how tall were you then? Uh, I was about six, five, six, six. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, you know, you kind of told me offline that your, your parents didn't really grow up playing basketball, but your dad has some uh, some athletic history. So talk about kind of where your love for the game started. Um, it really just came from, you know, watching my brother play when he was younger and um, kind of, you know, just seeing like the vibe of his games and, you know, and because uh, he's three years younger than me. So just watching all the um, all of his games, all the fans go crazy. And then I, you know, really enjoy the game. And I watched Nicole Jokic a lot before I started playing. And he's always been one of my favorite players ever since he got drafted. So, you know, I've been following him. Gotcha. And your your dad, you said, was a pretty good football player back in the day, right? Yes, yes. What what did uh, where did he go? What did he do? He um he ended up becoming a naval officer, but he had offers from um, Michigan State, Notre Dame, um, Ohio, I think maybe Ohio State, stuff like that. So he was pretty good. Gotcha. Must have been really good. You said O lineman, right? Yes. Got you. So we we kind of just touched on it, but, you know, who do you model your game after? You know, kind of what aspects of, of Jokic's game have you kind of added to yours? Well, I mean, I kind of like the uh, the idea that he's always like on balance. Like whenever he makes a move, he's never off balance. His finishing is really, really good. Um, I want to get my shot. I want to improve my shot, too. But um, those things. And I, I want to take like defensively stuff from like Tim Duncan's game and stuff like that. But, you know, it's kind of like pick and choose. But Overall, I want to model a game a lot like Jokic was just in that area. Similarity with Tim Duncan too. You were a, a swimmer growing up as well, so uh, you know, hopefully that you know that'll that'll kind of spell something for your trajectory. But um, talk about a time that you faced adversity and the tools that you used to navigate through it. Um, probably um, this past year, I faced a lot of adversity. Not getting the minutes I got my freshman year, and um, you know, I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't complain about it. You know, I. Uh, you know, just kept working hard and get my body in better shape. And, you know, and, you know, that's why I'm here today. I think, you know, playing really well on the circuit and then, you know, the 100 camp and everything. So I can't complain, you know. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. First, uh, first two years of PVI, uh, won a, won a championship your freshman season. Um, I thought you were a pretty unheralded part of that group too. Like, especially in that championship game, you had a couple blocks, uh, a couple of key rebounds, um, you know, really solid finisher around the basket. Um, as well. Um, so what's, what's the most important habit in your routine? Um, well, besides like, you know, working out and like, you know, always work on your body, but probably my everyday routines. Um, I stretch a lot. I stretch three, four times a day, you know, just, uh, cause it's a big guy. You got to really like take care of that. Like, I don't get hurt and I'm not afraid, you know, of karma or anything like that, but I don't get hurt. And, you know, I think that's credit to my stretching. Cause you know, I'm always, you know, ready to go. I'm not like stiff or anything. So I'd say that's probably the most important part. Yep. And you, you definitely lost, you know, I would say at least 10, 15 pounds, you know, since the end of the season, your dad said that you actually enjoy running, which, you know, as a fellow big man, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that myself, but kind of talk about that. Yeah. Um, in January, I weighed myself and I was 288 or something like that. And um, I went to the doctor um, about a week ago and I weighed 252. So I got down lot and i credit that to a lot about eating i went on a big diet and um worked out even harder you know to get ready for uibl that was really one of my main motivators because i already won peach jam again i wanted to win it again so mm -hmm. and we got really good comp this year so we got to do that yep <clears throat> uh talk about that that uh takeover team you know that 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 won the uh the 16s last year and kind of advancing on this year um super 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 deep kind of talk about what you guys think you kind of have going forward heading into peach jam this season well um i mean this year we have a, we have a lot of talent but, you know i mean it's i think it's good that um i'm on the team just to kind of like i have a little bit of experience so i think that's that's probably a good thing because we have like a lot of young guys 
but we all we all really fit well together because we all know each other from you know high school and everything like that and mm-hmm. we all we all just really want it you know I, don't, I think we're a really talented group but we're not the most talented you know i'd be able but i think we just want it a lot more than everybody else we play great defense i think so and we you know we have pieces like derek that can shoot jaquan that can play defense I mean, obviously, Jordan Smith, you know, Jake Daquan, myself, you know, we have a bunch of guys that really can just, you know, get it going whenever they can. Mm-hmm. Got you, 100%. What parts of your game have you been working on the most and kind of what have you added, you know, since the end of the school year? Um, I have been working on my mid-range jump shot and um, jump shot in general, and I think I've been hitting it a little bit more consistently, more uh, often. And probably just finishing in harder situations because, like, you know, I'll get to a spot and, you know, make a hard shot. And that's, you know, because I work on a lot. And just get my body better shape so I can jump higher off the ground and everything like that. Okay. When it comes to the shooting, is it changing any of the mechanics or just getting shots up? Um, a bit of both. You know, get, you know, just get my elbow in more, you know, it's repetition. Okay. Gotcha. Who's the hardest work you've ever been around? <clears throat> the hardest work I've ever been around is probably my little brother. But – uh but one of my teammates is probably um, probably Garrett Sundra. Mm-hmm. Like that answer. What's the matchup that you you're looking forward to the most this this year? You know whether that's high school or AU. The matchup with Pat McGonigal. <laughs> <laughs> with Big Pat, you're looking forward to that one, huh? I'm looking forward to that one. I got you. Uh, what do you do that makes you stand out for the competition? competition and you know how will you contribute to winning at the college level um I'm, i think i'm a very smart player i don't make a lot of dumb mistakes you know it's i think it's you know that's why i credit myself too because i'm not i don't jump the highest i'm really strong and so i can you know I get my position early but i'm a great teammate and i, I just do all like the little things anything that helps a team win like you know if you need me to pass i'll pass i'll get you know whatever assists and we'll light up from three if you need me to score I can score 16 a game. You know, it's like whatever you need me to do, that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Gotcha. That that definitely will help you translate at the next level for sure. Um, what do you value kind of as a person, as a basketball player? You know, is that trust? Is that, um, you know, commitment? Is that, you know, blunt honesty? Kind of what 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 things do you value the most? Um, I, I, I value, you know, the one honesty for sure. I mean, if your coach isn't being honest with you, I don't think he, he loves you, you know, as coach Turner would tell us. And um, I like, I value loyalty because, you know, I think that's very important. And um, I value everyone buying in too. everyone on the team. Just, you know, there's not like, there's like a, I think it's okay to have a superstar. I don't think that's, you know, a bad thing or a best player, but I think everyone on the team one to 13 has to buy into what you're trying to do. And that's how you win championships. Hundred percent, great answer for sure. Um, you know, this past it was actually last night uh, at midnight. The the recruitment kind of opened for college coaches to be able to reach out to 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 student athletes in your class. Um, you know, who are some of the new schools that have uh, that got involved over the last kind of twenty four hours or so, and who is recruiting you the hardest? Um, some newer schools that hadn't talked to me prior are um, LSU, Florida State. Um and Iowa mm-hmm. and some and you know I, I've been talking to Virginia Tech, Penn State, Notre Dame for a while too, and all its other schools in Maryland. But and um probably the schools recruiting me the hardest right now is uh there's probably there's probably a few, but Virginia Tech's probably up there, Penn State's up there, you know, and I'm looking forward to building a relationship with all these other schools I just met. So, you know, I it's a hard question to answer. Gotcha. Who's um who's your primary recruiter now at Virginia Tech now that Coach Jones has moved on to, to Maryland? Uh, coach Young, the head coach. Gotcha. Okay. Um, let's talk about strengths and weaknesses. What parts of the floor do you feel the most comfortable and the least comfortable? Um pro- I mean, I feel like if anywhere past half court, I feel pretty comfortable. I mean, anywhere inside the three-point line, I feel comfortable scoring the ball, you mm-hmm. know. Like if high post, you know, short corner, or, you know, anywhere there, I feel comfortable. If I get, it, I can make a move and go and score and shoot something like that. And if I get it on the three point line, I feel I feel really comfortable making passes from there, or even doing a fake handoff or going to the rim. You know, I'm working on my driving from the three point line, but mm-hmm. just you know, I like being a distributor, like running the offense from the three point line. So I, you probably but my probably like least comfortable part is you know bringing the ball to the floor. Obviously, that's something I got to work on. <laughs> gotcha. Not not quite there yet. Uh, what's the? I mean, you've been on some teams where where that definitely wasn't a necess- necessity either, for sure. Um, what's your go to move with the game and the line? 
Uh, well, if I catch a short corner, you know, my right side, it's probably going to be a – we're probably going to – I don't know if I have a go-to move. It's probably just seeing how he's playing. Man. Mm-hmm. But um, but if he's playing straight, I'll probably, you know, a one, two to the middle and then make a read off of that, see what's open. Okay. Uh, rank these in order of, you know, importance to you. Um, game-winning assist, game-winning basket, game-winning stop. Um. <laughs> game winning stop number one. Game winning assists number two, and game winning basket number three. I'll accept my teammates up and get the stops. There you go. Uh, tell me a part of your game that kind of flies under the radar or is undervalued. Um, I'd probably say my um, I'd probably say my passing. Mm-hmm. My passing because you know I like to. I, I like to pass. That's one of my games. I, one of the things I've gotten from Jokic is we were, like we were talking about, you know, I value a lot more now where I catch in the post. Like, I mean, if I get double teamed or whatever, or I see a guy cheating, you know, I hit more of my shooters. And you show, it's just great having shooters in the corner and on the wing because, you know, they knock down shots. So that's probably some of my passing. Mm-hmm. Give me some of your individual goals uh, for the, this next season as well as some team goals. Well, I'd probably say my – the goal I want to reach the most is uh, I want to win WCC championship for sure. With Gonzaga, I want to, I want to, win a, I want to, you know, try to go to Geico at least this year, maybe next year with Gonzaga. I've already been once. So I want to try to get back there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to win Peace Jam for sure. And, um, and just really help contribute to the team. That's really it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And then team goals, I'm assuming are kind of the same, you know, talk about, you know, arriving at Gonzaga and, and, you know, your, your connection with, with Nick Lewis and then some of your other teammates as well. Oh uh, yeah. So um, first day I got to Gonzaga, you know, got him tour and, you know, everyone there was super nice, you know, they were all were super excited. I, I was there and I was super excited to, you know, meet them all and be there and, you know, met some football players. I know a few of them and they were really cool. And, you know, Nick was a big part of me coming over there you know him uh, the whole team I like Derek and you know coach Turner I love coach Turner but um but Nick was the guy who kind of like reached out it was like we'd love to have you and I was like all right you know I'd like to, like to make it work so Nick Lewis is the the Draymond Green in this moment <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind, of, kind of reaching out to recruit someone all mm-hmm. right um what has been your happiest moment on a basketball court <sighs> that's a good question probably um Probably it's, it's probably two moments. It's winning. Probably my favorite moment is actually probably winning WCC championship when Jaquan had that last shot. That was probably the craziest moment. Mm-hmm. And Peach Jam, of course. But you know, but WCC was probably the best one because you know Doug, you know, senior year. Yeah, you know, we wanted to win it for him, and mm. that's probably it mm, for sure. That was a that was a hell of a game for sure. I was I was front row for that one, thankfully. Uh, last question, kind of where do you hope this game takes you? And well, before we get to that, what are your interests kind of out, outside of the basketball court? Um, I, I'm a big, uh, outdoors guy. I like being outdoors. Um, just kind of like hanging out, you know, like not necessarily in nature, but like, you know, like on like, like beaches, lakes, you know, hanging out with my friends, my family, you know, and all that, you know. Basketball for me, I love doing it. It gives me like a release, you know, kind of like, you know, take some pressure off of, you know, your everyday life. And, you know, I'm, I think I'm pretty good. So I just like, I like doing that. But, you know, I also, I love, you know, hanging with my friends and family when I, when I get a couple weeks off in August, you know. Not going to lie. You're from, you know, West Virginia. So I thought you were about to say hunting and fishing <laughs> with, with no G at the end of those words. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, kind of last question. Where do you hope this game kind of takes you? Well, um, I'm look, I want to, I want to go to college obviously. And, um, after college, I want to, I want to, I want to go pro. I want to go to the NBA for sure. And, mm-hmm. uh, that's always been a, you know, big dream of mine. And, you know, I, I understand it's gonna take a lot of work to get there, but, I think it's in reach, you know, for a lot for me and a lot of other people. So he's got to keep working. Okay, I lied. Actually, one last question: um, What are you looking for in a college, as far as you know, big city kind of rural, up and down, more of a half court style, you know, public versus private? Are there any kind of, um, you know, as you kind of work through this this recruitment process as a rising junior, um, kind of what factors are you kind of looking for in a fit at the next level? 
Um, you know, you know, probably, probably, I wouldn't say a half court game because I, I actually surprisingly I get a lot of you know transition buckets too. I run the floor a lot. You know, feel I don't even know how I do it, but I, I do rub down the floor a lot. So I wouldn't say more of a half court game, but you know, maybe more like you know bully ball kind of game where it's you know more inside and everything like that and um maybe like big 10 acc sec okay got you really appreciate the time man looking forward to, to seeing you guys play at philly live um let people know where they can find you, you know, on twitter and instagram to, to follow your journey thank you i appreciate it let let the people know kind of where they can find you on social media as far as you know twitter and instagram to follow your journey yeah, so for Instagram, um, my username is um, C Shiesty. So C, I know, I know, a great nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you that one? Uh, my assistant coach on Takeover last year. We were in Florida, and that's when Joe Burrow was the big thing. And um, <laughs> I was, he was like, he was like, you know what? You're C Shiesty. I'm like, I like it. You know. So. <laughs> Which assistant coach was this? Uh, coach Ibn Muhammad. Or yeah, Ibn Muhammad. So, <laughs> Shout out to Coach Ib. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Good luck this weekend and kind of going forward. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day.